Hey guys, it's Miss Urban. Welcome to our first day of distance learning and we are starting off in the evolution unit. We're going to finish up evolution and ecology to end this year really strong. And I am really excited to start your first lesson with information about this really awesome fish called the ice fish that you've probably never heard of, but they have really special adaptation for their blood. That's very different. There's a little lab that goes with this ice fish video that you can probably do at home. And I set it up here at my house very unscientifically because it's just with the stuff I had in my cabinets. And so if you want to, you know, do it too with your parents' permission, go ahead. Okay, so um, you can use any cups that you want. I used uh, these glasses because they're clear and you can see what I put in them. Um, so cup A here, I labeled it A because I've got like markers that can write on the glasses like without ruining them, okay? If you don't have those, don't do that. Um, I put corn syrup in there. So I had corn syrup in my cabinet. Um, and so that is what's in cup A. Corn syrup is very viscous. That's a term that we use to describe how thick something is and like sticky. And it is um, something that we use during our water lab. So you'll remember it's like very like dense and heavy and sticky. And um, I put a little red icing in it. I don't have any food coloring. So I used like this gel icing and mixed it up in here to make it red. So it looks like blood. Um, kind of a little fun fact, if you are watching the like vampire TV shows or whatever, where they're like drinking blood out of a sack, um, most of the time that's food colored corn syrup. So because it kind of mimics the same viscosity. Um, the other one is just plain water and I labeled that B. These, um, syringes are from giving my children medicine. So if there are young kids in your house where you still have to give like liquid medicine, you might have these syringes available in your house. Or if you have like pets that you've given medicine or something, I don't know, but you may have these. Make sure any syringe you're using has no needle. That's not something we need for this. So basically all you're doing is comparing the difference. The ice fish lives in really frozen water. Um, and thinking about how difficult blood, it, how hard of a time blood would have pumping through um, veins in an environment that is so super frozen. So this just gives you a sense of comparison. So all you would do is just pull up the plunger and it takes a little while ooh, to get this into the syringe because it is so thick. So I just kind of let that sit. And then we're going to see, um, let me see if I can make it nice here, what it's like when you press against it and the pressure and just kind of the thickness and the difficulty for flowing through veins compared to um, this water is about the viscosity of the blood in the ice fish's veins. And so if you were to push that through, that would be very different. Um, so that's just something you can do at home to actually get a physical feel for the texture. And now watch the video and go to Adventum for your discussion question. Bye guys.